Hey folks, it's Ignited Cody and Mrs. Cody, and we are heading south on 119 out of Harlan towards Bell County. And we are going to visit Wallens Creek, Kentucky. This is a brief visit to Wallens 2021 edition because my son and me did one a couple of years ago. I think it's right around the second anniversary of that one we did. We're turning into it now. It's like so, they're mowing their little area. Oh yeah, they're mowing their little uh, veterans memorial there. That's great. Anyway, we did it coming out and we really, it was really an all too brief of a visit, you could call it. So we're hoping to uh, get a little more detail on this. And we're going to do something really special down here, Mrs. Cody. You know what? We're going to stop at Hensley's Grocery Grill and Deli and get something to eat while we're here. That'd be good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm very hungry, so. <laughs> and, folks, before we do anything else, let me remind you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and like it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And share this with your friends and family and people you work with and strangers you pass on the street. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> no, that really does help our channel out it a lot. It does. It helps us a lot because when it's shared, yep. Yep. It, you know, it really helps. Our channel has grew a lot in the past couple of years, and it's all because of you guys doing stuff like that. So I've got to thank you guys. I don't know how to thank y'all enough. We're crossing the river right here, going down into Wallens, and we're on the hunt for Hensley's Grocery. Yep. Deli here to find it. and grill, yep. But also, we're, we're going to visit Wildlands. Like I said, hopefully put a little more time in it than uh, Coyote Jr. and me Now, did. is the railroad tracks working up here? They must be because they're working on them. Huh. I don't see, I don't see I the railroad know. spending that much money on oh, yeah, track repair on right dead tracks. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> well, these are the ones that runs all the way down into Bell County. So wow, they would have they're to be. doing some work to them reason we're talking about the, the tracks is we just recently found out the ones between Harlan and Everett appears they've uh, quit using them and don't run trains on them anymore. And we didn't know that. Now, is, this is the home of the Purple Devils. Purple Devils. That's what the Wallens said. Elementary. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think it's junior high or something. Oh, I don't now. know. We just passed the Wallens Post Office. This is Wallens Baptist Church. This is the House of Mercy Pentecostal Church. There's a lot of churches down here in Wildlands. These folks take their uh, faith serious. And over here on the left is the Wildland School where they're working right now. <clears throat> they got the road closed, as a matter of fact. So we're getting detoured. Yep, right up here around this loop. They're working on that yep. school. Yeah, they're working on the school seriously. They're doing some major improvements. I, I had heard a rumor they want to close the school, but apparently where they're working on it and improving Whoa. it, they're going to keep it open. I didn't know yeah. where that track was coming from. Oh, I still cringe. I can't help yeah. it. Oh, She's jumpy since her accident. I see the school is over here on your left. So, <clears> slow <throat> so they can see it. Somebody might have went to school there. You want to get a little shot over there? Oh, well, well, uh, uh, oh, you're driving though. Wow, what a pretty color on oh, that yeah. house. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what you call that turquoise blue. I have no idea. Very pretty. Because I didn't even see it. <laughs> Certainly caught my eye. Yep. I don't know. Now we're, maybe go this way. Yeah, this way. You go right down here and you look back out. It's that pretty whipping willow. Yeah. So are they working on the road or are they doing They're like They're working something? on the school and uh, the road too, looks like. Oh. It's definitely school work. They're doing school work. They're doing the homework. Uh, <laughs> well. Boy, it's a beautiful day to do a video down here. Looking for it? that uh, Hensley, is that what you said? Hensley, uh, one of our uh, viewers told us in the comment to come down here and said they had some mighty fine Yeah, Yeah, well, I've seen a lot of uh, recommendations for that. Yeah, well. We're fixing to take them up on it. A lot of comments on it. So we're going to find it, guys. Yep. And we're going to drive on down here to the end of where they nice stopped the road. Nice community Wallens is. Yeah. Well, you know, Wallens, which I didn't get, I didn't tell you this when I started the video. Wallens is for the first load of coal on a train left Harlan County. Not the first load of coal, period, like trucked out, whatever. But the first load of coal to leave Harlan County by rail 
left on a train from Wildlands Creek, Kentucky, which is also Harlan's first coal camp. At least that's what the sign says back there. It says that load of coal left, and here's Hensley's. And oh, um, okay. 1911, I Look believe. Look at those beautiful mountains. I believe August 25th, 1911 here is when that are. first load of coal left down here. So Wallens is a very historical location. Hensley's grocery. Grocery, Deli and Grill. All righty. Uh, there it is. We're going to okay. see what they'll feed us in here. I'll get out there some video while you're in there getting us something to eat. Hey, folks, we've decided to go into Hensley's and eat in here. This is a beautiful little store, fantastic little store and deli and grill. And we're going to go in and have the full experience in here. We'll show you what we got to eat. Little country store. Yeah, a nice little store here, ain't it? Yeah. Folks, there's what the... This is a true country store, people. I mean, this is a yeah. country store. I tell you, you can't beat the atmosphere in a place so like nice. this. Yeah. Well, folks, our food is here, and we didn't have to wait, wait very long for the food at all, did we? Mm -hmm. Nope. And I don't know if you can see it on here, but the hamburger is steaming. It's a double hamburger. It's got everything on it it needs to have on it to be a hamburger. Whew. A lot of beef it's on there. Yeah, yeah. I hope I can get through that. There's a lot of beef on there. <laughs> and, of course, we had uh, my wife got a fish dinner. We just can't fish. Uh, yeah, fish dinner and hush puppies and some really nice looking onion rings. I'll keep that. In. Uh, and although we usually just do one thing a piece, this place is famous for its hot dogs with homemade chili. So we have to find room for the hot dog with the homemade chili. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yep, yeah, so we have to find room for that. But well, folks, we're, we're going to try our best to eat all this food and we'll come back and tell you about it. And then we're going to drive on down. Uh, a little further down into here. Hopefully to where the stropping ends on the road because that's what we usually do. Well, what do you think of all that food, Mrs. Cody? It was great. It was so delicious. The fish was great. The hot dog, oh my goodness. Oh, God, I see yeah. why I, they yeah. like the hot dog. I see why the hot dog is, oh, the is, hot is famous. The, the, hot dogs uh, the, the homemade best. chili is delicious. And, mm. and, and the hamburger, the double hamburger, it almost got the best of me. I feel like here, here's an old Appalachian <laughs> here's an old Appalachian term for you folks that aren't familiar with them. I feel like I foundered myself. I think you foundered yourself. <laughs> yeah. Is a, it's got two say. yeah it's got two huge pieces of meat on it oh, huge gosh. and uh, God <laughs> and it's good meat too. No, the beef is good on that double burger. Delicious. Oh, and also down here, as you can see, there's a Grippo rack right there with Grippo chips. Uh, they have a Grippo burger down here too. That's right. Yeah. This is a, this is but also. We wanted to try the hot no. dogs, and I see why they're really, really known. For so the hot if dogs. you, uh, yeah, that's right. So you can get a Grippo burger on either end of Harlan, up Everett's, or down here in Wallens. That's good because I hate for people, but that wasn't a Grippo burger I got. That's just a big old double hamburger, fresh beef, delicious. And a lot of it, and uh, of course <laughs> the hot dog. We got the hot dog and split that because we just we had. How had can to you, taste it. Yeah, how can you come in a place famous for its hot dogs and not get a hot dog? Well, I'm getting uh, <laughs> I'm getting two to go for. And the catfish was delicious. Yes. And we're going to take a couple of uh, hot dogs to Papa Cody. Chili see. buns. Chili buns. Oh, that's right. He's a chili <laughs> bun man. He's a chili bun man. This is one of the neatest little country stores. I've ever been in. It reminds me so much of the places I went to when I was a kid. I just can't tell you. Got a money machine in it. To be yeah. In the yeah, well, the, my country <laughs> stores didn't have ATMs in them, but hey, look at the everything else is very authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they got the coolers. Got eggs. You can get everything you need cheese. without going to town. That's the ideal of a country store. Oh. Now, folks, I got to correct something I said earlier. I call this Hensley's, and that's the name of the store, Hensley's Grocery Deli and Grill. But the wonderful lady who owns this and runs it, May, told us that everybody locally called this May's. They didn't call it Hensley's. So this is May's Grocery Deli and Grill, and May Hensley is a wonderful, sweet uh, woman that, that, that if you grew up back here in these mountains she'll remind you of your mama or your granny or some favorite aunt you had I guarantee you she will remind you of somebody in your family if you grew up around here 
Uh, we thank her so much for feeding us almost to death. That double hamburger just about done me in. I just barely made it through it. But folks, for you all, I went on through and I ate it all and it was delicious. Fresh meat, two giant patties, like I said, my stomach feels like it's just going to blow up here. But we're going to go ahead and drive down the road here. Like I said, we like to drive to the end of the yellow line. Sometimes it don't end though. <laughs> we just have to stop. Hey, we can't forget the lady working with me in there who is very sweet and very helpful, Rhonda. Working, working, working. Yeah, hard very working hard. woman. Yes. But uh, she is very nice and very sweet. So thank you, May. Thank you, Rhonda, for a wonderful experience in an old yes. country store. Atmosphere, I just loved it all. The, the kindness and the service, oh, you could not ask for no better. What do you think, Mrs. Cody? That woman can flat out cook. And yeah, I'm telling boy. you, that chili, she does a good yeah, job that, that with that chili. Yeah, that hot dog was, was, was the best I've That's had That's the best hot dog I've ever ate, guys. I'm wow, telling you. Wow, that endorsement. That yeah. hot dog, oh my goodness. I'm telling you. And hey. her hamburger patties. I ate a bite of your hamburger. And oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. I'm glad you did. That's some good hamburger so meat. I wouldn't have got the double burger if I knew how much meat there was oh, my in one goodness. patty. It was a, it, you thought just going to get a little... Uh, generous. Uh, prices was good the burger Flip I got was like burger. what was it 419 or something for the burger uh, the fish dinner you get two pieces of fish hush puppies coleslaw and onion rings for 599 the fish was really good and the hot dog with with the the the, the uh, wiener uh yeah the hot dog and the homemade the... chili cheese uh mustard and onions yes were a do was a dollar 59 oh a dollar it is so good folks uh, so good Yes, sir. Now, we're, we're passing some pretty scenery. All of the, the fish dinner, the hamburger, and the hot dog was 13 something. Wow, 13 wow, something. Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's with drinks. Oh, yeah, and we got a couple of Cokes. Yes, and that was with the drinks. Oh, my and goodness. I was like, wow, right. really nice people up here. Yeah. Especially May. Oh, She's a something. nice lady. I mean, it's back there. I just cook. loved her to death. Yeah. It's felt, I just stopped talking to her. It's like that's I knew her my whole life. That's the kind of woman that you could sit down and, and, and listen to her talk. Oh, she's so sweet. All day. She reminds me so much of folks I grew up with in my family. This is what I love about small towns. Yep. Folks like her, I mean, they just make the community. And i tell y'all something. If you're coming into Harlan for the, your first time to visit and yes. you want to see a real country store, yes. well, this is right here on 119. This is one of the first places you pass when you cross the Harlan County line. Come down into Wildlands. And see May. And come to May's Grocery. May it says Hensley, Hensley mm -hmm. but everybody calls it May. Well, her name's May Hensley. Yep. So, yep. so come on she down and see that. She is a sweet lady, and she will fix you right up. If you're hungry, she will fix that problem. <laughs> mm. I guarantee you that. Yes, And sir. you will be one happy be but belly now make fed sure, person. But <laughs> make sure you can hold it before yes. you order her double burger. Make sure customer. what you're getting first, because my husband did not check yep. out what that yep. hamburger was. I know these fast <laughs> food joints has got you used to double burger being two thin patties that makes one halfway decent patty together if you hold them together. That's two real patties. Big, thick patties. You're literally getting a double burger and eating two hamburgers. And it's good meat, so it's hard not to eat it. Oh my goodness, that hot dog though. And my, we're my. passing the Katina, I believe you pronounce oh. it, Full Gospel Church. So this must be Katina. Oh, yeah. I've heard some folks call it Continue or Cantina, but uh, it looks like it's Cantina to me on the sign. I'm sure somebody will fix me because I need fixing. <laughs> Locust Lane on your right. Never heard of that one before. Oh, I'm guessing they got a lot of locust trees down there. Look at these beautiful mountains. Yes, look at Marlow them. Lane on your right. How can you help not love the mountains and the country oh, folks and the country store? It was so cute. I love it. What was that it. John Denver song? Thank God I'm a country boy. Thank God I'm a country boy. Lordy. Thank God I'm a country girl. I mean, I love it. <laughs> I love city folks. I wouldn't take nothing for uh, it. There, but, but places I, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I never met one that I'd trade with. You couldn't trade me my country life for somebody living in a, a multi-million dollar penthouse in no. New York City. I still wouldn't take it. Oh my goodness. I was born and raised in the mountains and that's where I'll always be. Now 
if you'd let me have the bank account, I'd take it and bring it back to the country. It's taking, great to get I out, the city but it's always good hey, to come back home. Folks, let's see. No, I thought we's, no, I thought the striping was running out. What's it rolled up there on your right? It's locked off. Somebody tell us. It's uh, got a gate on it. I don't know if it can it's focus up there or not, but it's got the gate on it. It's a gravel road. Maybe it goes in old mines. Look at that little old, on. well, look at that big old truck. It's old. Yep. Wow. What is Boy, that? Little four truck? No, it's a utility Somebody's truck got a garden there. over there. Wow. I bet you somebody does got a garden down here. <laughs> nice size garden, too. Pretty. Yeah. I bet you they do. Well, if I could get me some more can lids, I'd be doing some more canning. Yeah. But I can't oh, find no lids not, nowhere. Yeah. I my, had to buy jars my with the wife lids. is having trouble finding lids for her canning jars. I got, I think, 30 jars of green beans canned, and I wanted to do me at least another uh, bushel of beans. Yeah. And I'm hoping to get to. Yeah, we're looking for lids. I'm folks. looking for lids. Anybody got any idea? <laughs> We in Harlan County, lids. I can get some lids. But we'll travel again. I've went to Virginia. <laughs> I've been all over the place. Hey, now there's an uh, idea. We need to do. We need to do a cannon video. Oh my goodness! Yes, go. that yeah. would be great. Yeah, we need to do cannon video. Yeah, if I could get some cannon lids. <laughs> We can't do nothing without them. The I've got plenty of jars. Out. I need some lids. Wow, this is beautiful down here. It is. I want to make some salsa with the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I love some salsa. Look at the corn. we got some corn and some tomatoes. And I thought I seen some taters. Oh, excuse me, potatoes. What is that? That song, something about corn grows. <laughs> oh, where the corn don't grow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I like I that song. I love that. Where the corn yeah. don't grow. Cause I'm not a bit interested in living where the corn don't grow. Oh. It's a nice country drive right here. I like. I'm a big fan of neon signs and that kind of lighting. But you know, I can bring that back to my country house and plug that in in my living room. I don't have to live there with it. <laughs> can I? That's right. I told my wife one time if I could afford it, I'd have her living room look like the Vegas Strip. Man, I'd have a bunch of neon light. <laughs> oh, and you would too. Yeah, I that, love that. That's not a, like not I even said, a I joke. That is for real. Yep. Like he loves neon lights. Like yep, but I don't neon like, signs, neon lights. Problem is, I don't like the rest. <laughs> I don't like the concrete and all, all the people and buildings and not being able to find a tree nowhere. <laughs> Have you came to the end of the road, maybe? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Like I said, maybe. Uh, I wonder what the this pipes is back on. there for. Is that we got thing? gas and the tar the tars are fair. The tars are fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh the tars my are goodness, you got twisted up. Right, that ain't the first time. I guarantee. It, it looks to me wise. like we're coming to the end of the road. Yep. Well, this road this goes on. Like, like traditionally, what we try to drive to the end of the stripe, and oh my goodness, right here's where the stripe ends. The yellow line ends right here. No more stripe. Yeah, so right. you know what We're that means, right? Let's go up here and it see what. Turn around. Yep. Don't get lost. Turn around. Don't drown. No, well, turn around. Don't around get lost. But anybody with wear the radio knows <laughs> that little thing, because when it goes off and they have flood warnings on it, that little computer voice always says, "Turn around. Don't drown." That's right. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, now this this is nice here. Now there's a dirt road going off to your left, and this is a paved road going up the hill to your right. Hey folks, as we turn around and head back, we gotta thank y'all for coming on the ride with us, for sharing the food with us, and putting up with us. We appreciate you, we really do. Y'all have made this channel grow way bigger than what we ever thought it would be. And we really appreciate you. What do we say, Mrs. Cody? Bye. Bye.